A lot of video games have systems in place to animate the camera, while game developers use them to tell a story during cinematics. Similar systems can be used by content creators for cool transitions, visual aid in tutorials, or storytelling for their videos. In this video I'm going to showcase my powerful and unique camera path system. But before that I will tell you my story of working on camera path systems. Before we begin, a disclaimer. I did very little research on camera path systems, and I couldn't find anything like systems I've built. Back in 2016 I've started working on a Minecraft mod called Blockbuster. Its purpose was to enable content creators creating Minecraft machinimas by themselves. Machinimas are basically movies made inside of video games, and one of the most important components of a movie is the camera. Before adding Camera Path System to Blockbuster Mod, I've made some brief research on existing camera mods for Minecraft. There were a couple of camera mods available for Minecraft 1.9 at the time, in particular Bower Cam, CMD Cam, and Pixel Cam. From my research, all of these mods were very similar. The only distinction was that CMD Cam and Pixel Cam used seconds for their units of playback, while Bower Cam used number of render frames. However, fundamentally, they all worked in the same way. All of these mods let you place key camera points in the world, and then you can trigger camera playback that will traverse the camera through these points during given time. For my needs, and machinima creation in general, all of these mods were unfit. You can't make a scene with cuts and paths with just a list of camera points that's supposed to be traversed over given time. I had to create my own camera path system. I came up with a camera block system. In my camera block system, there are different block types. The way camera playback works with this system, as you launch the camera playback, it will go over those blocks and animate the camera. Every block has its own duration, so until the camera reaches that duration, it will continue to animate the camera with that block, and once it's over it will go to the next block. Rinse and repeat until there are no blocks left to play. Every block type animates the camera differently. At the moment of the first version of the camera blocks path system, there were five blocks, idle, path, follow, look, and circular. Idle fixes the camera at certain position, path would traverse the camera through given points. Follow will attach the camera to an entity, look will look at an entity from given position. Finally, circular will move the camera in an arc pointing the camera in the center. Having different blocks and having the ability to specify the duration allowed the content creators to have a control over the scene's camera suitable for machinima creation. This system was good, but it was pretty limited. I wanted more. I wanted being able to add shake to the camera, or smooth out the traversal. Because of that desire for more sophisticated camera path, I added camera modifiers on top of existing camera block system. Camera modifiers are also blocks, but instead of coexisting with camera blocks in the same space, they are added to camera blocks themselves as a list of effects. Camera modifiers can't exist by themselves because they don't set the position or camera angles, they just modify certain aspects of the camera path. And so with this system, more opportunities arose. However, as the time went by, the limitations and inconvenience of this system became very apparent. Due to technical debt in my mods, it wasn't really possible to easily turn this system around or refactor it. In addition, even if I knew how to redo it, it would take a long while, so I decided to give up changing it. Once I've quit Minecraft modding, the next project I wanted to work on was a voxel engine. I decided to extract my mods to a separate application so that I could have more freedom over the engine. This was the perfect time to come up with a new camera system. I took the inspiration from video editors and digital audio workstations. Most of video editors and DAWs use clip system where you have multiple tracks, and upon those tracks you can place clips. Different clips could do different stuff, and vertical order of how clips are placed offers some perks. So I took my camera block and modifier system and turned it into clips. Camera clip system turned out to be very versatile and powerful. Clips can be placed anywhere, and because of that, it opened more possibilities. You can organize the camera work more freely, transition between X camera blocks and place X camera modifiers on top and in between X camera blocks. Beside that, additional non-related to camera clips can be added to add extra effects like audio clip or subtitle clips. And the best thing about, it's much cleaner code-wise, which makes the code maintainability a breeze. 
Overall, I think that's the peak camera path system. I like how it turned out and I give this system 10 out of 10. If you're in need of a flexible camera path system, consider making it clip based. If you want to see how it was implemented, check out the camera package in BBS Studio's source code. Link is in the description. I hope this video was interesting. If you know a better camera path system, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.